So if you want to know how we went from this to this, follow our channel if you want to know how we've moved from a house in Hastings to our forever home in France, then follow our channel and watch all the videos that will show you how we've got here from cradle to grave. No pun intended. Yeah. And the packing's begun into the van. Saying goodbye to all our stuff. Thank you, friends. Welcome. Take care. <laughs> Just realised something. One, we're homeless, and evidence of that is because. Let's take a look at my car key. Yes, I do have a key. Uh, it's got no, got no house keys on it. Exciting. Yeah, we drove past it before, but here we are, the Premier Inn, Folkestone, yeah, for the night. Quick stop off at Folkestone. Now we're on the way to the tunnel, the channel. You excited, kids? Yeah. We're at the channel, the channel tunnel. The tail. And uh, yeah, we should be going in about half an hour's time. Here's the train. And we're off. And we're here, in France. We're in France. Yay! And we're off. Quick stop off of the the carrefour, carrefour, however you pronounce it. Hmm. Daddy, it's daddy. <laughs> I think that's right. Like that. Oh, we think that's right. Well, we've got the supplies. Um, I think it's about a seven-hour drive now. It's where we're going. So let's have some. French countryside B-roll. Nous avons arrivé en France. Nous sommes très fatigués, mais nous sommes très contents. Um, yeah, it's been an absolute grueler. Uh, 37 degrees in the car with no aircon. Windscreen wipers that wouldn't shut off. Um, and but we've arrived. So we're here at the rental. You have a look around. Of course you do. Yeah. Okay. Just an, a little bit of unpacking. Um, la maison. 
nice secluded garden for the children to play in. Next up. It's nice and cool in here. Nice little welcome. We have a new Lisa, Rob, Robbie and Evangeline. So yeah, a nice kitchen, diner, lounge, portable telly, never mind. Uh, what's in here? Oh, washing machine. A creepy doll's house, according to Robbie. And bedrooms with a cot for Evangeline. Cell divan. There's no way they're using that. <laughs> she refuses. And then another bedroom. So, yeah. Beer and wine is in the freezer. It's chilling. We need to relax. Good morning from inside the jumper lane, is what she calls it. Day three uh, in our rental property. I'm not sure how this is going to work with the bouncing, but yeah, the weather has been amazing. 37 degrees, air conditioning broke in the car. I think I've already mentioned that. Um, and now we're in next door's property, enjoying the, uh, the stuff that's here. No, so it's got like swings, it's got a, got a trampoline, jumpoline, uh, badminton that Lisa and I were playing with yesterday. Um, you want to get out? Let's have some footage of Evangeline playing now. Can't you see it's way past time? Don't know whether they can hit this. <clears throat> Nothing. Apart from the birds. Can't ask about too soon, I can hear a tractor. <laughs> but yeah, it's really quiet. Really quiet. This is our house from the back. Another 10 sleeps here. But yeah. I got contacted yesterday from our, our removals company. They've told us that our vehicle exceeded the weight <coughs> by over 600 kilo, but we weren't to know that. So they've charged us another thousand and twenty-two pounds and fifty-six pence. So they were in effect holding our furniture ransom in the UK. But we've been told because we've paid it that it'll be here this week, perhaps okay. Thursday. Who knows? <sighs> Keep you updated. Come at it from a whole nother angle. One on Desert Rivers and Hair. So, gonna set it all in motion here today. So unless there's anything more interesting to be filmed today, we'll see you later. Right, you're in for a treat. I'm going to show you the shops.
shopping trip done hope you found that as invigorating as what we did see you later so we have an update where are we going now to my school yeah so the school at our rental even though he'll only be going there for about I don't know, six days uh, wants Robbie to uh, enlist in their school so uh, he's gonna be spending this first afternoon in a French lecole you see. That's it, he's been dropped off. Bit of an issue over the uh, school meals because we're not registered and stuff like that. Uh, he can't eat there, but we'll get some sort of answer this afternoon. Yeah, big day, big day. On our way to go and pick up the boy from his first day of school, let's see how this went. Right, go on, Robbie, tell us about your school. I, we went, we. Two, we had three play Mommy. times. Yeah. Mommy. We were learning about Mommy. science. Yeah. Mommy. Mommy. I got a. Uh, I got a. Uh, uh, there's this rule of uh, naughty children and good children. I went to the good side. Oh, good boy. Wow. Well, the, well, you can tell us about it later. Yeah, but we're both very proud. Very proud parents. Not stirred, just a lesson that I've learned. And so it goes, tables turn in your own. So we are six days in to our uh, move to France, uh, having a barbecue, you see. Uh, the weather in Europe is uh, it's crazy at the moment. It's really, really hot, it's too hot. I keep I keep bleating on about the fact that my uh, air con's gone uh, in the car, which makes it really difficult to travel in the afternoon. Uh, had an interesting conversation with a French lady who didn't speak a word of English th this morning, about the bins, about the communal bins. Uh, it was nice. Uh, I managed to get by with some basic schoolboy forward slash 
Duolingo French. But uh, now it's time for the barbecue. It's time for barbecue. Did anyone tell you it's sweet to watch people eat? Good morning. It's Friday the 15th of September 2023. This is the end of one part of the journey and the start of a new part. Today we are going to the notaire's office and we're going to be signing the contract and taking possession of our new house here in France. So stay tuned. Didn't even care enough to be dismissive We've arrived in a small town called Mansell and we're here to sign a contract to sell the house. Hopefully they will allow us to film it. house keys and we're on our way to go and see it. For us to come around 